Well, what is this? Looks like a microwave to me. Yep, had to get a new microwave. Um, tell you what, there's a lot that goes into choosing a microwave for an RV. And I will tell you why. And I will tell you why I need a new one. Okay, so I need a new one because <laughs> the latch broke again. The latch is what opens the door, which is up in through here. It has a little thing on it. Well, it has broken three times now, and no, I, I misplaced it. I cannot find it. But being that it keeps, it's old plastic. This is a 20-year-old microwave, and it just keeps shattering on me, and unfortunately, who cannot get replacement parts for this old microwave anymore, which is a shame because really it works. Other than that's missing. So, and without that, no, it doesn't work. So I will take the screws out of the casing. Trust me, there's another screw under there. And see how this thing is set in there. I found the actual specs of this microwave, and it is actually bolted in here. So I'll have to uh, take a look at all that and see what to do. Um, the new this microwave is 900 watts of power over here and get my hand on. This microwave is 900 watts of power, 12.8 amps on a dedicated 15 amp um, breaker. So I don't know, you know, it's really hard to find amperages on microwaves unless there are the specific microwaves which is strange because most microwaves will do anyhow from what I understand the new one go over to it okay so the new one is 1000 watts versus my 900 watts this is 1.1 cubic feet versus my 1.3 cubic feet that I already have this is not going to fit in perfectly because it's almost impossible to get the correct size dimension again. So, and um, I've heard this one starts off at 20 amps, but I don't know if that's true or not. So the only thing I can do is hook it up. If it trips the breaker, return it to the store. So I asked on a on an RV forum, and uh, I know not to put a 20 amp fuse where my 15 amp fuse goes. That's asking for trouble. You cannot go up unless you rewire and all that. And the RV is already pre-wired and preset for specification, so you don't mess around with that. Okay, so I'm going to get some tools and try to remove the old microwave. Okay, so I am going to attempt to remove the casing. Let's see how well that's bolted in. Okay, it's coming out. That's good. Hmm, then you drop the screw. Okay, this side. Where is it? 
There it is. Trying to find it with the camera. I don't have enough light. There we go. Must be in a little bit crooked. Okay, screws are out. Let's see what happens. Okay, that is just a little top part. Aha! 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 I see how this is done. Let me see if I can get a different lighting on this camera. Okay, well I hope this is enough lighting. So the microwave is actually bolted where I can't see because I'm too dark. Um, so I had to pull these things out. Okay, I see where that top part was bolted there and bolted onto there. So, this top. I don't see where the bottom frame is even put in there. I, I'm not sure how that's put in there. Okay, so I will try to get these out. Might have to get the real screwdriver. Let's see. Oh no, that's good. That'll work. Problem is, I cannot set a tripod up in here. Oh, come on, don't sit this thing. Oh, of course, there's always that one, isn't there? Can't set a tripod up in my kitchen because it's too small for the legs of the tripod. And I did take the paper towels off the rack so it has some surface to work around. I don't want to strip the screw. Let me go get a real screwdriver. Well, they certainly make these things to where they're not going to fall out on you. So, I think I'll just pull this sucker out. So, I'm going to make some space, pull it out, put it on the floor. Wish me luck. Okay, there we go. I got it. I just had to give it a good jerk. So I will take that plastic strip off the bottom. Because I'll be needing that again. For the new microwave, possibly. Whew, they really put these things in, which is good. So I will take the screws off and remove that plastic bottom strip. It helped to have tools, all different kinds of tools. Come on, get up in there. Oh, yay, and it's even. There we go. I think there's three. Yep, there's three, so I'll save you from having to watch me screw, unscrew all of them. Okay, so I got it out. Yeah.
That's disgusting. 20 years of... Ew, bugs. The heck? There's these screws from the cabinet. That's a pretty big spot there. So, boy, I tell you what. If I didn't feel like I needed a microwave, I'd put my toaster oven up there. Mmm. Now I gotta drag this big old microwave outside, put it somewhere. Right here is the old microwave. Excuse the mess. I've got quite a mess going on around here. And these little things. Yeah, they're mounting plates. So... But I don't know that I should be using mounting plates on a new microwave and putting holes in it. Yep, they definitely cut this area away to put that mounting plate on top so I could probably block it in some way I'll clean out this cabinet first see what I can do okay microwave is out everything's cleaned out oh I almost wish I didn't want another microwave Huh. That would be such a lovely storage area. Or I could put my big toaster oven in it. But, oh well. Let's go unbox the new microwave and put it in there. <laughs>